What's happening everyone? It's DV and I'm finally showing you how to play this game because there's so many of you that keep asking me, dude, DV, how do I play this game? I, I'm so confused. And honestly, it's really easy, okay? Most players are going to tell you like, dude, this game is so easy. Granted, they know how to play, so that makes sense. If you don't already play the game, I will link it in the description so you can check it out. So first things first, you're going to like spawn on a little island like this. And the main point of the game is to get the best gear and build an awesome kingdom, okay? So you can like build like bases. The problem with the cool kingdom part is currently building does not save. So if you build something really, really awesome, good luck because as soon as you leave the server, you can't bring it with you. So that reduces it to just getting the best gear possible and just having lots and lots of resources so you can build whatever you want so in this video i'm going to show you the basics of how everything works and the fastest path to the rebirthing yep i said it there is rebirthing in this game and rebirthing gives you like special perks i won't go into that just yet because it's kind of overwhelming i'm just going to go with the basics first and get you kind of like revved up on this game because once you know how to play the game rebirthing just comes easy also if you really want an advantage you could do a little pay to win there's a little shop here you can see the t um, there's like some game passes feel free to do what you want but i'm going to show you how to do stuff without that so it is a survival game so there are five Five things that can kill you at least the currently first is other players so one thing i will tell you is because other players can kill you highly recommend setting up a private server it's completely free to do so and you can do everything on a private server that you can on a public server except for getting blue steel which is really high-end stuff anyway so you don't have to really worry about that so i'm currently on a vip server so i'm just not bothered okay usually you'll have like other players fighting over here maybe they're you know trying to kill you and such so highly recommend like i said go on a vip server while you're trying to learn because otherwise you're going to be getting killed while you're trying to learn not a fun experience now, besides players, there's one other common way to die, and that's starvation. So if you don't eat, so you see right here, this is the food bar. This is your health bar. Um, the food bar shows your current hunger. So you can see it's ticking down. So over time, that ticks down. If you manage this properly, you'll never, like, starve, okay? Like, look at there's mushrooms here. There are various things you can, like, just go and break and you can eat it so you can see i just broke those two mushrooms and the same for these berries over here i'm going to break this bush with my rock and we're going to get some food you can see right here it tells you what you picked up all right now you go to inventory hit e to go open your inventory you can see i've got some food in my inventory i can click on them and then eat it you can see right here this is, shows how much food it's going to give so like this right here it says 20 that's how much food it's going to give me up here so i could fill up all the way to 1300 by the way if i am low on health and i eat i actually heal as well so if i lose some health then i'll heal if i'm eating it gives it like a little hill benefit so let's go ahead and eat and fill that up and we should be pretty close to full yeah we're pretty close now there's three other things that could kill you in this game one is the void so if you go all the way out into the, like deep in the ocean there's like some issues with collision so you can fall through the void so be careful especially if you have like really good you know armor or items if you die you lose whatever armor you're wearing and your you know weapons equipped another way you can die is by standing in a fire so don't do that you'll start on fire and you'll burn to death it's it, it's not a it's not a happy way to go okay it's not a good way to go and and then the lastly, the other way you could die is through an animal. So wild animals can kill you like wild boar. And they're over there somewhere um, in the mainland. Now you can see I'm, I've got only one item on me. I currently have a rock. It's a sharpened rock. You're going to pretty much use this for everything at the start of the game. You're going to use it to break trees. After I break this tree, it's going to drop some wood and they're going to drop leaves. So we're just going to break a couple of these real quick because you need wood. You're going to need wood all the time in this game. And one thing to note is things don't randomly spawn in the world currently. So like the only things that randomly spawn are like the shipwreck events. So pretty much if you break them, they're going to respawn in the same exact spot. Now you're going to be using this to break rocks as well. So pretty much this is your only tool in the game. So the next step you want to have is get better tools. Now, because we're on a private server, we don't need to be, you know, worrying about like getting killed by other players. Otherwise, if you're on a public server, the first thing you'd want to do is get better armor and better weapons. But since we're on a private server, I'm not going to worry about any of that, okay? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting better tools and weapons. The only reason why we need a better weapon is so we can kill animals pretty easily to get their hides for materials. But really what we're focusing on is better tools. So now it is time to gear up. So there are three ways you can craft stuff. Okay, so you can see right here, it says C. If you've ever played Minecraft, you know how you have like you can craft stuff on yourself. Like you can like make sticks and such. That's pretty much what this is. So we click C and you can see there's like this whole tree. This is like a research tree. See, these things are locked and then it's pointing to the hammer. We need the hammer in a little bit because that's another way to build stuff you can see right here it says sharp rock it shows my quantity and it shows what we need you can see right there it shows like three and i don't have three of that but it needs three rock and then i can hold to craft it so in this case like over here the rope it requires two leaves and it'll make one so the nice thing about this is anything connected to this item here will unlock as soon as i craft it see how these just unlocked and now I can make chiseled stones. We can make a tool handle. We're going to need this for our pickaxe and our axe in a little bit. And then if I make a straw bundle, 
This one will unlock, this is the wooden rod. And then right here, if I make the hammer, then this one's gonna unlock right here, which is the wooden club. Don't worry about the wooden club, skip it. I've never used it, I've never made it, don't need it. So we got a hammer now, so let's go ahead and go back and let's go to our inventory. You can hit E or you can hit the backpack. Um, You can see we got the hammer now. Now what we need to do is we need to equip the hammer because we're gonna be using that to craft stuff, okay? So let me explain this real quick. There are three ways to craft. One, like I said, it's off of your body, so your person. Um, This is very limited. This is the only time, honestly, that I ever use this crafting menu, okay? I never use it otherwise, unless I'm really like desperate to make a few things. But for the most part, after this, you're just gonna be using a crafting workbench, okay? And that's what it's trying to have us make right now. So we're gonna go to our inventory backpack. We're gonna select this. We're gonna equip it. And you're gonna see these little numbers at, at the bottom. These are the different slots at the bottom. So you can see it's telling you to put in slot two. That's fine. And then you can pretty much close this out. And now you've got your hammer. Pretty much your hammer is used for building any kind of structure or anything that can be placed in the world. So you can see right here, it says change setting. This is what we're about to build is the, the workbench. You can see it says change building. So we already built the crafting table. That is the thing that's selected by default. And then as you make these, you're gonna be able to get better tables, better tables, better tables. This is like the progression tree right here. This bottom left side is how you get better stuff, okay? So this is like the blue steel. This is the steel. This is the iron. This is the copper. Um, I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. But then at the bottom here, don't miss these. You can see there's like prefab. So if you wanna like pre-build some stuff instead of having to do it like yourself, you can just get like stuff that's already like kind of pre-built. Like if you wanna do a watchtower instead of using all the parts yourself. There's also structures here. This is like if you wanna build a kingdom, like a castle or something, that's what all the structures are. Then you have decorations. This is more like chairs, tables and such. This also includes the prison cell. If you ever see people like imprison each other, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. And then most importantly, you need boats. So out of all this, you're probably gonna use this one the most out of everything because you can build a um, basic raft with two wood. So we're gonna click that and we can put it in the water over here so we can like get around, okay? So that is how you do the basics. But what we're gonna do is we're not gonna actually build stuff here. I'm gonna take the boat over to the mainland because I don't wanna have to keep going back and forth. Okay, so over here, you see the deer. So we got a couple deer. We're gonna kill these. I know, I'm sorry, I gotta, but um, I'm gonna show you. These don't attack back, so. You can just pretty much get them with a rock. I'm sorry, dear. And then, you know, we'll we'll spare him. Why not? We'll spare him. You can see we got the hide here and you need this for certain things that you want to make. We also have some meat we can cook. Don't eat it raw because it's going to actually damage you if you eat it raw. But you can see right here it says 50, which is really nice if we cook it. So this area in general is really nice. Like I like this area because there's all kinds of resources around here. We can get some rocks over here because we're going to need a lot of rock as well. Rock and wood are kind of like essential resources. You need a ton of this stuff. So make sure you get a lot of it. And what we really need is a pickaxe. Okay, a pickaxe and an axe. An axe is gonna cut the trees way faster, like two times faster. And then the pickaxe is gonna break the rocks a lot easier, like any ore and such. It's gonna break that so much faster. So I'm gonna go and create a workbench here. We'll go to production. It shows red because I don't have enough rope. So to get that, what we can do is we can go back to our personal crafting, make one more of those, close out of that, open this back up, right? Change building to workbench and we're gonna place it. Now we're on a private server, so we don't really worry about people like raiding us and stuff, but if you're on a public server, just be careful. So we're gonna hit F to craft and you can see we got a bunch of stuff here. Now down here is gonna be the stuff that we need. The pickaxes and the ax are down here, okay? There's also a shovel in here. So what we need to do is make a tool handle so we can unlock these. There's our um, stone pickaxe. Now you see it says, I need two of these and one of these. Well, you can see that matches the icon, right? This thing matches this. So let's make one more of those. So we got two of those now. See so yeah, right here, it shows the number you have is on the top right. And you see it's now white. So that means I have enough. I just need one more rope. And you can see now it turns green because I can actually craft this. I'm gonna hold down to craft. And now I just increase my crafting level. I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. Um, but you see, I also need a shovel. The shovel's gonna be so you can actually make farms and such. You need to make farms to get XP for farming. You can also use it for getting food. It's a really, really good idea to do. You can use the shovel for multiple things. And then right here, ultimately what we really need is a stone ax. So we go through the same process we just went through. We need to make two of these. Uh, we don't have enough rocks. So see, I'm out, of, I'm out of rocks. Oh, I can't make any of these. I can only make this. So, okay, we got enough rope. Let's go get the other stuff. But notice I still have the sharpened rock. I still need that, but I'm gonna switch this to slot three. So let me go on equip this. We're gonna go back to here. We're gonna equip it to put it in three. And we're gonna move the pickaxe into one because we're gonna use the pickaxe to be able to break like rocks and stuff a lot faster, but we still don't have an ax. So we need to use a rock to get, you know, basically take out trees. There we go. And then let's go down here to get some more rocks. We can use our pickaxe for this. You'll see how fast these break now. 
way easier. In the future, for these bushes, you're going to use an axe. So after this, we should be able to make a shovel and an axe. Those are the pretty much the three essentials. By the way, you can plant carrots and you can plant wheat. So those are the only two crops you can currently plant. So make sure you pick them up. If you see wheat or carrots, those are pretty much the seeds. There's no such thing as seeds in the game. Technically, it's just like pick up the wheat and pick up the, you know, the carrots and you can replant them later. All right, so let's go back here. Let's make a tool handle. What else do we need? We need uh, two of these chiseled rocks and now we can make the axe. Okay, so now that we have the axe, what we could do is we can get rid of this rock. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to go to this. See on the left, this is like a filter. Click on the tools, select the rock and you can pretty much drop it if you want to or you can just drag it to your backpack and there it goes. Now you can also drag out to your toolbar like that if you want to. If you don't want to have to like click, click, you can pretty much drag back and forth and we're going to move our pickaxe right there because our weapon's going to be right here soon. All right, so pretty much that's it though so far for the main basics. It's like super, super important. That's like the primary. If you know how to do this, you pretty much know how to do the rest of the game for the most part. But let's go back here and we need to make a shovel, okay? So we need two of these ropes. So we made two of those and then we need one of these and then we need one chiseled stone and we can make the shovel. All right, so we have a third tool. Let's go back here and equip it. We'll put it in slot five. And I usually reserve slot one for my sword, by the way. That's why I have it set up this way. This is actually my loadout. So right here, you can see um, I've got a, as soon as I equip the shovel, it says, it shows like a green box. Now over here, it's important that you don't miss this part because a lot of players miss this. A lot of players miss it. They don't look over here. So you have an option to till soil or not. So you can like click that to till it. You need this to be able to plant crops or you can remove it if you like the grass instead. Down here, it's kind of grayed out and I wish it wasn't really darkened, but you can see it's like plant seeds. So you have to select that and now you can plant seeds. You can either plant carrots or wheat. Now you have to till the soil before you could do this. So let's go and do that. We'll make a little plot here. That's gonna be our carrot area and this is our wheat area. So plant seeds, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do wheat as well. And now we have a little farm. So now that you know the basics, here's the next piece, okay? We wanna get better gear, right? We don't wanna be stuck with these like super basic items. We got stone stuff. You're going to go to your um, crafting table. By the way, if you want to take out a, a structure, use your axe or your sword, okay? If you have a sword or an axe, use that. Um, I could make a sword. It's back here. I don't really want to because we don't need to on the server yet. We're going to skip that, okay? We're going to completely skip that. You could do it if you're kind of new to the game. You can go in here. You can make your wooden club. You can get, you know, make your sword. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to tell you to skip it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to select your hammer, okay? So slot two for me. You're going to change building right here. You're going to see because I made a crafting table, these structures are unlocked. Now, this is for uh, beds. What beds do is just makes you um, gives you a spawn point or a decoration. But ultimately, these are spawn points. So if you sleep in your bed, it's going to be like a Minecraft style spawn point. OK, so if you really were worried about like respawning in the same spot, you could do that. This leg up here is for um, cooking. So it's going to be a, a campfire. And then there's like a cooking cooking station here. And these are just chests. These are for storing stuff if you really want to. You don't have to do this. You can pretty much ignore this and you can ignore this if you want to. It's just look at this like strand here. Um, You can technically ignore the cooking station as well for now. Now to get better tools, you're going to be going down that line. You're going to go to copper tools. Then you're going to go to iron tools and then you're going to go to steel tools and then you're going to go to blue steel tools. Okay. That's pretty much, it's real simple. So we're going to go back inside change building. We're going to look at what it needs. It needs four of these like chiseled uh, rocks. So you're going to come back over to the workbench and you're going to make two of these. By the way, if I, if for any reason I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, rewind, follow along go for it. Okay. We got the chiseled stones, right? So let's go back and select this. Okay. So I need two more. So let's get two more of those. Now we got four and then I need two planks. I need two wooden planks. Now you won't know where to get the wooden planks, but I'm going to show you right now. So over here, I haven't unlocked it yet. So the wooden planks are right here next to the wooden rod to get that. I just need to do this and make one of them. And there it is. Here are the wooden planks. I need to make a lot more rope. By the way, if you're making a lot of something, you don't have to keep like doing this over and over and over. You can pretty much click these little um, plus and negatives, or you can punch in the number you want. So like if I want to make like 10 of them, I could do that. And let's go and make 10 of them. There we go. And now I can make wooden planks. Now, unfortunately, it remembers the last quantity I made. So make sure you reset the quantity because otherwise it's gonna be kind of bad. You're gonna make way too much. Okay, let's make those two planks. Now we can make a copper smithy. So let's go back here. And then you can see it's green now. So if I make a copper smithy, I can make my next set of items. So I'm gonna put that next to this and we're gonna go and craft. Now you can see it now needs copper, okay? In order to be able to make a copper bar, it needs copper, you can see that? So we need to now find copper. Well, where do you find copper? In the mines. So let's go over here. You can see there's a mine down here. There's also a mine up here. There's already copper right there, dude. Caves over here, pretty much all the 
mountains have capes. Even the desert has it. And um, blue steel, and I think, I don't know if steel pickaxe is a one shot on this. I think it is. I think it's a one shot. When you first plant the carrots, they look like that. And then they look like this. It looks like they just kind of go up. Like they raise upwards. So it's like a height thing. Basically, if I were to move these carrots down and so, see, you can see it, they're right there. See how they just kind of move up. And once they're ready, they'll be above ground. Our copper should be popping up again shortly here. All right, there it is. So let's just grab that. And there's a lot more like, there's some mines that have a ton of copper in them. So you just have to find them. All right, so we have six copper on us. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna make copper bars. So let's go and do that. So by doing that, you'll notice it unlocked a bunch of stuff and it unlocked a sword and unlocked a bronze pickaxe, which we're really interested in. And we need to make that. Now in order to be able to make that, we need copper nails. We also need a um, handle and then we need two copper. So let's go make two copper. And then let's actually make the nails and we just need a handle so let's go make a handle over here it's right here so we'll handle now we can go back and we can make the bronze pickaxe let's go and make that all right so now that we have a bronze pickaxe pretty much gonna equip it equip it and just replace or you can just drag it like i said you can just drag it like that all right let's make some more we're gonna make the axe and it looks like we're almost yeah we can make the axe now so let's go back over here make a handle go back over here make the axe and it's easy as that. And after this, we're gonna make the um, the next building, which is gonna be the Iron Forge. You can see I need copper, two copper nails and only uh, six bricks, which is really easy to make. All you're gonna be doing is upgrading these, your armor, and so the tools, these two tools, the pickaxe and the axe, and then your sword, and then your armor, as well as your backpack. We could actually use a backpack pretty soon because um, we also have an inventory. So right here, we have 20 items in here. We have up to 100. If you exceed this 100 here of weight, you're gonna start getting encumbered and you're gonna walk really slow. Like you won't be able to move. So you need to better backpack if that happens or just drop stuff off you can use your axe to break structures but your sword's always going to be better all right so we can make some more bricks okay so we should be able to make the structure now let's go and do that we got the iron forge all right so we're on our way this is pretty much the game loop like i said next we got to make some iron um and to get iron i can show you right now so there are like four or five different places you can get iron okay see you can kind of see this the sword out there on the hill there's an area over there you can go in between them and there's an iron deposit inside there there's an iron deposit inside that um hill over here there's an iron deposit in this hill there's one at the desert inside the like um egyptian like kind of um it's like a maze looking desert entrance it kind of looks egyptian like a temple and pretty much there's a uh, iron deposit inside there and then there's one iron over here where these shipwrecks look like looks like a kind of like a prop over here where it's like a shipwreck on the rocks there's one back there too so they're always in the same spot so if you've played islands it's not like islands where islands randomly spawns around the map as you destroy stuff they're actually set locations so they never change all right let's go i'm going to show you where to get the um, iron now so for this location what you're going to do is you're going to come back down this cave and then eventually you're going to see like this big rock so just, it's a boulder, just break it. It's gonna give you a bunch of XP as well, which is nice. All right, so we just leveled up, but you can see right here, this is what iron looks like. When I first started playing the game, I never believed iron existed because I was looking all over the map for these, but they're hidden behind these boulders, except for the shipwreck area. So just get these, you're gonna level up a lot too. And by the way, if you're trying to make steel, you don't get it from ore, okay? Steel is made with iron. So you need iron to be able to make steel. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then in order to be able to make blue steel, you need um, steel as well. You need steel and then you also need blue steel crystals. So that I will not be covering in this video because it is a little little bit more advanced you do need to do it on public servers you can watch my other video i will link it in the description on how to get blue steel but this is going to be your basics all right so we got a bunch of iron just now got like 10 of them so we're going to go over here and smelt it and obviously i haven't really been covering anything with armor yet because we're on a pub private server when i'll need it but this is how you make iron so you do need the hide you you know in order to be able to get the hide you need to go and kill like deer and stuff um and then behind here is like your um helmet and leggings so there's different like items you need this is a backpack right here and then we need this as well so let's make another nail and two more of these all right, we got better tools. Let's go and equip them. So let's take this one and then we'll take the ax as well. There we go, we got iron now. So this is how much faster it breaks. So much better. All right, so now that you know how to make the iron forge, let's go ahead and do a steel factory, which is gonna be right here. So steel smelter, they require shingles. To be able to make shingles, you do need to actually use the iron forge, they're right here. And you can see you need planks and this. So how many shingles does it require? It requires four shingles. Okay, so we need to do that. Go and make our shingles. So we need uh, four of these. So we need four bricks and four planks. Let's go and back here. This is why you need the, like this this whole like lineup is because you need to go from here to here to here. So let's go and get four of these. There we go. And then we need... Uh, um, more chiseled rocks and let's make these there we go we have four all right so now what we need is six planks so we don't have enough of these so six would be 12 rope let's make 12 rope 
And now we just need the bricks and the nails. Let's go over here and make our bricks. So we need a lot more chiseled stone. It's always something, man. Okay, we can almost make it. We need 10 bricks. All right, we should have enough to make it. Okay, yeah, we can make the steel smelters. So let's go and place that. And now if we go back in here, you're going to notice one thing got unlocked, which is a blue steel furnace. We're not going to cover that in this video, but I'll show you this real quick. So in order to be able to make steel, okay, you do need iron. So you need one for one bar. It is 10 iron. And then you also need five coal. That's what the dark one is. You can see we don't have enough of any of that, but this is where you can make like a lot better stuff. You can make like a better crossbow. You can make full uh, steel armor. Um, you can make steel, you know, tools and such. So I'm not really going to show you that in this video. Now, as far as cooking food goes, what you're going to want to do is go to change building. So use your hammer, click on campfire, plant it down. Just don't step in it because you will, you will light on fire. Um, and then go up to it and cook. And you'll notice you can cook certain things like you can cook meat. You can cook like um, later on with the cooking station, you, you could cook like bread. Now this meat hunk, this one gives you 250 food, but it does require three of these. So if I make three of these, I can finally make one of these so basically it's it's worth it because like three times 60 is only 180 so like this is giving you a big step up if you do it this way but you could cook stuff that way you can also go back to your um production here and make a cooking stove using iron and that will unlock like the ability to make bread and stuff it's pretty cool but now that we covered the basics or the basic game loop i will tell you the next piece you need to know how to rebirth because that is pretty much the goal okay the reason why you want to rebirth is you get a lot of these cool perks so if you go to the little store here and you can click on rebirth and then to rebirth level up all of your skills to max level 25 and then you can see right here rebirth and will reset everything it doesn't make you lose your items so if you're worried about losing your items it doesn't it just resets your stats your levels you can click on here rebirth shop and you're going to notice a bunch of stuff in here i'm going to do a separate video on which ones you want to focus on which ones you know benefit i'm going to be comparing them so expect another video of that pretty soon here but you can pretty much buy so you, um, as soon as you rebirth you get one of these little um, rebirth tokens and this is the cost right here of each one so it's just one for each and you can get like professional swimmer so there's different like bonuses or perks that you want to get and that's why you want to rebirth and like i said it all it does is reset your levels and it just gives you a reason to continue to grind so how to get xp for these if you hit v or you can click on this little like um blue icon here for mining you just need to mine like iron and blue steel are going to give you the most xp for mining wood cutting just pick you know take out the big trees so you've seen the big trees over here take those out focus on those just keep farming wood crafting you could pretty much just um build you know items you can craft items um i like to just like do a stack of planks and then just keep breaking them over and over and over because you get a lot of your resources back you don't get all of them back but you get a lot of them back so you can pretty much do something like you know like this and then just um go to structures and just do this over and over and over and you'll level up and you just break it down with your um, axe or if you have a sword even better it's gonna be a lot faster than an axe and then food, you're just going to pretty much farm all day. So kind of like what I was doing over here, except what I do for that, I pretty much use my shovel and till soil all around here. So I make a giant farm and I just plant and harvest, plant and harvest over and over and over. And eventually you get a, like a level 25 on that. But like I said, I'm not going to be doing that during this video because it's really just a how-to video. The only other thing I want to mention is you could join kingdoms. How to do that? You see the queue over here? You can create a kingdom. You can invite people to it. Um, so like if I create one, I'll just call it DV, uh, creating... And then I can invite people and them joining the kingdom doesn't really do a whole lot. It just means you got helpers that can't really hit you. So it's basically a friendly mode. So like if they hit you with their axe or, you know, their sword, you don't die. Typically speaking, you're pretty much helping each other as well. Gather resources, build a kingdom and um, build a fort. And that's pretty much what it's all about, right? So this game's all about building like really cool like castles and stuff. I would recommend it, you know, before you go on a public server, get all your iron, at least iron gear. But ideally you should have like steel armor before you go on a public server because you're going to get worked otherwise. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if it was. If there's something you're still confused about, let me know in the comments as well, and I could try to help you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. 